Hey, what's up everyone? It's Eric Spivak here with Blockster Media and New Friendship Tech. And we are here with John from Neo Blockchain. And uh, I'm really excited to hear from him. He's very accomplished and established in the space, uh, involved with over 100 different deals in the space. So he's helping people uh, not only retain jobs, but also gain opportunities through what they're building. And I think it's really unique and special. So really happy to have you here, John. And uh, let's start with just a little on your background, give the audience something to know in terms of you know who you are, where you come from, where you're at, and uh, maybe where you're going too. Okay. Uh, uh, hello, everyone. This is uh, John from the Neo Blockchain. Uh, um, actually, I'm joined in this industry on the 2015. At that moment, I'm mostly just uh, doing some of the trading. Uh, so, tier, as I, and also, I'm I'm working in the in a consultant form. Yeah, doing doing this kind of like fancy things. Yeah, but uh, in the 2015, I know the Bitcoin, and my friends recommended me to understanding some more project and the Bitcoin's white paper, this kind of stuff. So then I know the know that then I know I decided to full time to working in this industry. So I joined the Neo team on the 2017. Yeah, so. Uh, I already working in the Neo around like the seven or eight years. Yeah, so currently I'm responsible for the Neo's the operation. Yeah, so investment, uh, marketing, each and all these stuffs. Yeah, so Neo is actually is a very old blockchain. Yeah, so someone call us the uh, dinosaur coin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I know it's a joke, but I think uh, it's a uh, it's a reputation is in in, in this industry is very very important. So I like people call us like the the dinosaur coin. But uh, we're also looking for doing some of the new things in the future. So we currently is also working on an AI project uh, because Neo is actually started with the developer community. So we are very good at like to build a community and to have helping the developer to, to doing the things. So now we're also looking for to provide the good the supporting for the Web3, the AI developer. So we start uh, another new thing that is called the Spoon OS. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Spoon operating system. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, so Neo Blockchain's been around for a very long time, and if you've been in the space since 2015, you've seen highs, lows, lefts, rights, probably cried a few, a few times. Um, but so, in an effort to, I guess, uh, re-stimulate uh, Neo, you're providing opportunities to developers, programmers, coders, engineers to build on your your EVM chain, right? And then with that, I'm assuming you have grants or different types of initiatives or uh, quest or token allocations for people to receive for building things that are really innovative or um, using the ingenuity of what you guys already have. So with the Spoon OS side of things, can you tell us a little bit more about that whole program and, and system since that is kind of this is the newest thing that you have out right now correct yes this one? yeah so give us uh, more insight to that and what uh, developers coders engineers programmers and builders can look for out of spoon yeah uh, so for the for the supporting like uh, in our in my personal experience like uh, the funding supporting always is not the only part for the supporting to the community and the developer. So for no matter for the Neo and the Spoon OS, we actually uh, supporting the developer with the quite similar the program. Yeah. So we normally currently we are mainly supporting with two kind of the the group of people. Firstly, is for the developer. Because developer actually is contributing the new stuff, no matter with our public blockchain or with the Spoon OS system. So uh, we actually has the program, which like uh, if the developer can building something or uh, push some like uh, the, the 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 recommendation to our the system or, or tell us like some of the box, like we actually mo mo maximum can provide around the 500k thousands of the, the rewards to to all these of the developers but the evaluation evaluating standards mostly is quite depends on they are the techno uh, technical the 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 documents 
Yeah, it's it's been it from our our the technical team will be the main judge for that. And another group is not that technical. We are also looking for the people who actually can helping us to promoting this technology in the all around the world. No matter organize the events, no matter to translating the document to the local language, and no matter to. Uh, design the tutorial in the video, the the website. Uh, so all this kind of the commit, uh, the person or the people who wanted to do that one, we also can supporting uh, them. We can give them the grants. We can give them like the 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 marketing phase to 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 promoting this, to helping the developer to 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 grow in bigger and bigger group. Yeah. Sounds like I got a job. <laughs> All right, you hear that, everybody. Uh, basically, they need support in marketing, promotion, advertising, breaking things down and making them more digestible and understandable for people all over the world in all languages. So if you speak uh, Mandarin or Cantonese or Japanese or Chinese or uh, Spanish or French or English, whatever it is, uh, they want more people to be utilizing Nero and they want people operating with the spoon system that they just created and you know I would say that if if the blockchain has been around for as long as it has and it's kind of been almost like a sleeping giant if you will what do you think it will take for um, you know more awareness more visibility uh, I guess I mean I, I've been in this space since 2016 and it's the first time that I've I've heard about it which not to say that you guys aren't doing a good job but the fact that I haven't heard about it I feel like I'm doing a bad job in my research and development and discovery so um, what do you think is um, what, what's like a big development or update that you um, is, is in the coming year or in the future that you guys are really excited about? Uh, from this industry? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think this uh, industry growing very fast. Maybe at uh, five years ago. So I also come to the KBW. At yeah. that moment, I already have it, but not that many of the people. Yeah, so it's most like the small group. No matter I come into the to the European America, the the Russian or all this area, like just like a small parties. Yeah. yeah. Now I think like this industry is already has very strong connection with the real world and the, the real industry. So before, like when we using the wallet, it's very difficult to use, and it's a big barrier for the normal people to understanding this industry and to join this industry. Now I think the people is very easy to no matter buy the crypto, no matter the spend the crypto, it already has a very strong infrastructure and the product to supporting that. So from the from that side, I mean the this in the future this industry is uh, the 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 boom point, I mean the the, the business way will be not like it before. It will be becoming like how the product uh, or the or technology which actually can provide the good service to the normal people. Yeah. And from the technical part, I think it also has some difference. Before, when we walking around, had a workshop or hackathon, like people always ask me about like how's your chance TPS? What's your consensus model for your chain? And do you have the doc can uh, tell us how to set a node in your chain? But uh, I think like two or three years ago, we had the uh, American the campus two the hackathon. Uh, I, I significantly can feel in that. Uh, the, no matter for the students or developers, they coming not asking me about like uh, the chain itself. They mostly asking, do you have the development tools on top of your chain? Yeah, they has already used the to using the developer. They, they are not that care about like the some of the 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 basement technology. They more like the they, you provide the comprehensive the toolkit for them to do the developing. So I think no matter from a technical or from the business part, how to connect the real world and the blockchain will be the major business which the currently project should be focused. Yeah. Okay. So in, in short form, you're excited to give the tools that you have and open the toolbox to creators and uh, consumers alike. And then because of the longevity of 
uh, the blockchain that you guys have built, it should be very easy to get institutional adoption. It should be able to transition into the real world very easily because you have the history, you have the proof of work, you have the transactions per second, you have the volume, you have the daily active users, you have everything that you need to have trust, safety, and peace of mind that working with Neo Blockchain is going to be a, uh, a sure bet. So that's great. Um, is there anything that you haven't covered that you feel like people should uh, get to know about you guys um, that is valuable or important information? Okay. Yeah, first thing, first the thing is like we are still here. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're alive. Uh, <laughs> you can see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because right now I think like uh, now I think in the, in, the, in, the, in the whole industry, it's maybe more than the 1,000 public blockchain. Yeah. So before, like uh, one year, maybe uh, one the bigger public blockchain uh, launched, yeah. but then now maybe it's uh, counted by by week. Right. Yeah. So uh, so I think like for the young people, for or for the new new person, they come into this industry, it's very difficult to focus or concentrate on the one project because new project always coming and uh, they always has the new token, they always has some of the marketing, people always change their attention. Uh, so I think it's okay. Like uh, that is uh, some like the, uh, the disadvantage part for the old project. But I still wanted to to mention is like uh, Neo is started with the developer community. Neo is uh, provided the developing tools, uh, uh, the best developing tools for the developer. This is our goal. And now I think uh, right now in this world, the AI will be the next future, uh, definitely. So uh, we find a gap. The gap is like uh, the traditional developers, they actually can develop in the AI, uh, with the AI technology very well. But for the Web3 developers, they are still very difficult to developing stuff with uh, AI. So we wanted to uh, make this gap uh, become smaller. I, we cannot fix, we cannot make it disappear, but we can fix it. So, uh, uh, so we look forward like uh, all the people who are also interested in AI, no matter for the developing or no matter for the business, they can quite focus, they, they can give us some attention to our developer tools. Yeah, we can actually provide the good the developer, the, 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 the feeling, I mean, a good developer, the technology to, to you guys. Yeah. yeah, thank you, makes sense. So, I mean, honestly, what it sounds like is if I am a builder and I'm interested in using AI tools tied to blockchain, cryptocurrency, uh, even real world assets or deep pin sides of things, uh, Neo Blockchain seems like a very uncongested, easy, supportive, supported uh, way to build and create and have um, kind of a backline, you know, and have something yeah. to lean on that's not going to disappear overnight. You guys have been around for a long time, so I, I think it's great, and it makes me want to check out what development docs you guys have and what's already being made and see what I can pass around to my communities and DevRels and CTOs and see if they'd be open to building and creating on your chain. And then with that also, like, I could tie you guys into new Friendship Tech and the events that we have that we do all over the world that do include blockchain and crypto, NFTs, real world assets, metaverses, digital fashion. We do we do it all, and we also work with AI and LLMs and Rap GPTs. So there could be a conversation there as well, and having you guys almost uh, present and do like maybe a demo day yeah. of the projects that you guys already have and some that are work in progress. Maybe even do a hackathon or something. Yeah, we do. So yeah, we we'd love to do all that. So I appreciate your time, John. Um, if there's anything else that you want to say, now's the time to do it. Yeah, we are gonna do start our the global Spoonwise hackathon. Yeah, from the end of the October, it will be we will come to the American, we will come to the European, we will come to the Russian, we will come to the Indian. So come to join. We had a very big reward. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right.